Raise your hand if you invested in the Squid Game token. Come on, I know some of you want to. Don't worry, my friend, you aren't alone. New crypto coins and NFT projects are popping up left and right, and I think most of them are glorified Ponzi schemes. A Financial Times article titled Why Bitcoin is Worse Than a Madoff-Style Ponzi Scheme was posted a couple months ago. The only person associated with the Madoff scandal that remains unscathed is surprisingly Bobby Bonilla. I made a video about it, but anytime you're compared to Bernie is not a good sign. A Ponzi scheme is a zero-sum enterprise, but Bitcoin is a negative-sum phenomenon that you can't even pursue a claim against, argues Robert McCauley. This topic certainly leads to a polarizing response depending on which side of the fence you sit on. We'll see if there's an argument to be made. In its cash flow, Bitcoin resembles a penny stock pump and dump scheme more than a Ponzi scheme. This might be why Jordan Belfort is now promoting Bitcoin and crypto. Guys, here's the bottom line. Bitcoin should already be zero by now. And right now, I believe, technically speaking, the time to buy Bitcoin is right now. In a pump and dump scheme, traders acquire basically worthless stock, talk it up, and perhaps trade it among themselves at rising prices before unloading it on those drawn in by the chatter and the price action. Telling a crypto investor that their potential lottery ticket is worthless leads to a reaction similar to someone disrespecting Jorge Masvidal whenever he's trying to promote a fight. To the extent that real resources are used up to make Bitcoin run, it is costly in a way that Madoff's two or three man operation was not. Macaulay claims that the electrical costs and the environment to mine what is essentially a zero sum game ultimately makes it a negative sum game. I think most crypto coins are legalized Ponzi schemes. The reason why I believe that is a couple reasons. One, there is no utility other than vapid claims in a white paper that never come to fruition. Two, the only way to profit from your investment is to dump your coins onto someone else at a higher price. Three, people are investing with the goal of a short-term flip, not because they believe in the project long-term. Here's the real reason why I made this video. Bitcoin in the last six months is down 25%. Ethereum in the last six months is down 33%. Back in September 2021, a young man told Dave Portnoy during this pizza review that he had a great investment for him. Six months later, the great investment called Hex is down about 75%. Million Token, a token that was hyped to be $1 million per token, is one of the worst performing assets I've ever seen. It's so bad, holding now is worse than a liability because you have the shame in believing in Tech Lead's vision on top of the losses. Right now we are seeing a prevalence of influencers taking advantage of their fan bases. This is through pumping something they're going to dump, overhyping crappy courses, promoting scammy online casinos, and creating useless meme coins to promise crazy returns to the moon only to dump their shares and crash the project. Because of all the promotions surrounding the crypto and NFT space by influencers, many new investors lost a lot of money thinking they were investing in something of value. Squid Game Crypto Token Collapses in Apparent Scam. A risky game played by a lot of people in hopes of getting rich quick. Sounds a lot like the Netflix show. A majority of influencers have something to sell you. In the crypto space, everyone is promoting crypto because the entire ecosystem relies on hype. It's why they get so upset at anything they consider to be FUD. How to find 10x to 100x gains in crypto. Get rich with crypto. This is how millionaires are made. If you ever want to see some clickbait, mosey on down into the crypto section of YouTube land. It certainly creates FOMO in the viewers and gives off the impression that the host of the channel is making millions day trading crypto. Next 100x crypto coin. Shocking. My goal with this channel is to simply be the guy that acts as a counterbalance to the extreme amounts of influencer-driven pump and dumps and Ponzi schemes running amok on social media right now. I stand behind my belief that most influencer-driven NFTs and crypto coins will either become a pump and dump, an overhyped project that doesn't deliver, a terrible investment, or a legalized Ponzi scheme. I say a legalized Ponzi scheme because the industry isn't regulated and no one is going to prison, but the coins are an investment with no utility and profit is only made by artificially increasing the price and and dumping your shares onto the next person. This crypto could 100x fast. How can we not get hyped up at the opportunity to 100x our investment quickly? I know crypto coins and NFTs are going to be in our lives forever and will shift us into what's next into this commingling with technology life we live. In my eyes, Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies are still too volatile to be considered a store of value. I'll give you an example. Odell Beckham Jr. suffers major salary loss after Bitcoin decline. This tweet by Darren Rovell shares that OBJ signed a deal with the Rams for $750,000. Because OBJ earned that amount as income, he'll be taxed on the $750,000. DK. Federal income taxes, California taxes, and agent fees all take at least 50%, so he'll net only about $370,000. He decided to get paid in Bitcoin, which at the time was around $64,000 a coin. Due to the massive drop, his Bitcoin would now be worth around $413,000. After paying taxes, OBJ made $43,000 this season with the Rams. That doesn't indicate a store of value to me. That sounds like a risky investment that hasn't paid off. It could be a store of value down the road, but certainly not today. Investing in crypto is gambling. There's no way around it. Could some of these coins 10x in the next year? 100% possible. 
Could a lot of them lose 90% of their value? That's possible too. This video isn't so much focused on the more established coins, since I think some of them, like Bitcoin or Ethereum, will be around for a long time. This video is more about the coins or NFT projects that are influencer driven. Almost all of them are pump and dumps or Ponzi schemes. The reason why I showed the charts earlier is to simply remind you that when you're investing with an asset class like crypto, if you buy into the hype and miss time when you enter into the market, you could lose a substantial amount of money, as seen by an investor who started investing six months Ago. If you go on coinmarketcap.com, they compile a list of the biggest gainers and biggest losers in the last 24 hours. What's the difference? The top gainer side are coins during their pump phase. The top loser side are coins during their dump phase. Do I think the entire crypto market is a Ponzi scheme? Of course not. My real opinion is that most of these NFTs and crypto coins are unregulated venture capital funds. The projects have lofty goals and a vision, no revenue, are raising money to complete the project, and are incredibly risky investments. It's why I don't see crypto as a scam or anything. It's just gambling with currencies and hoping that the project you invested in comes to fruition. Here's an excellent research paper titled An Examination of the Cryptocurrency Pump and Dump Ecosystem by the authors listed on the screen. We then collected price data on nearly 2,000 coins across 220 cryptocurrency trading exchanges from CoinMarketCap.com, the leading website of aggregated data on cryptocurrency trading during the six month period from January to June 2018. Overall, we identified thousands of pump and dump schemes on Discord and Telegram that took place during the six month period from January to June 2018. This paper was written in 2018, but you can still apply it in 2022. When there's quick money to be made, pump and dumps and Ponzi's will be created. Stay safe, my friends. Thanks for watching.